Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're gonna go over some of the audio tools in order for us to create some music or some sound effects for our Atari 2600 games so stick around for that. Alright so let's get started and uh, the first thing that I have over here uh, let me minimize this and I'll, that I have over here let's go over the Atari basic and uh, if you remember from your graphic tools here are the links and so forth and uh, if you notice back then uh, when I open it the uh, let me open this the music or sound editor wasn't working and that is because if you come over here I was missing one uh, where is the where is the DLL I was missing right here I was missing this file over here if you see it's right over here so download that and put that into your folder as well and here you have Batai basic once again so let's open a project it's already open and here we have two great tools you have a sound generator so let me click that up for Stella open and, uh, I believe if you notice here you have from the value 0 to 15 and 0 to 15 and 0 to 31 and this is pretty much our this is our volume this is our, our distortion and this is our pitch so for example let me set this for so as you notice uh, without the sound uh, this changing this one being the volume this is distortion this is the pitch you can generate a, a sound that you like and if you notice when I have uh, one and was changing the pitch uh, that's pretty much one of the noises you hear when uh, some, some games when they do some firing so like see that's like a laser being shot or something like that so this is a good uh, tone boy that's uh, a good sound effect generator if you want to have any specific thing in mind uh, or if you want to try it out different sounds so that's one and that wasn't working but the music and sound generator here we have uh, a uh, layout like a piano over here and here you have a different distortions as well so if I come over here and click <coughs> You can hear the sound, and here's generating some of your fire for us. So here's a. So as you notice, there's a. All of them is being generated right over here. So you can uh, copy and change the values that we have over here. Uh, I believe. I'm not exactly sure the order, but I know this is the. This is the pitch. So I'm assuming it's pretty much like the the sound generator this being the volume this being the distortion and this being the the pitch or the frequency if you will so that's the the first sound editor that we're gonna look at that was it so we got that out of the way so now let me go to the next one let's go let's go in this order over here and here we have a a web editor it's called this local tracker and pretty, uh, let me try a new one let me reset okay and pretty much is a web editor so you're just gonna click over here double click you want any type of sound that you want let's put a, a square so then you have a note over here some of the values I don't even know what these are, but so put some hats over here or whatever, something like that. So you're gonna create earth sounds over here. I don't know if this is a musical note or a, it's a reference to a from one of our variables, but let's say for example, this is it, this is our music. We can click on export. Oh, of course, I have to give it a name. Oops, this is a song name. 
yay by then so now export and then you can click on export these two files for us to uh, this bottom two to put in our file and if you want to know what the song is like you can just pr click on preview and here is our our preview of your song and uh, this was my little test that I had over here let me delete it but here is the a sample as well we're going to preview so here is a sound of the music being generated by this uh, by this locum tracker I don't know if this is related to Paul's locum now he had the from the previous video he had the Atari music guide which was a uh, homage for him uh, I don't see I only know that's uh, the only reference that I have is from this site it doesn't so I'm not sure if they're related at all but it's a good uh, web editor you have so we'll have this one out of the way and here you have more options by the way and I'm you know a lot of options that you, I don't even know where to start so that's one and in the next one you have the TIA tracker this is the main website it's under Beat Bucket. and here is your pictures and all this stuff you can click to download the binaries which I have so let me go back over here go to TIA tracker and uh, let's open that up and here you have a manual of it as well and it goes really into the t details of uh, like for the musicians and for the audio so it gets really into the big details over here here's the distortions and whatever and here's to the mu uh, musicians uh, uh, good resources of information guys uh, can reach you and as you see there's a lot so uh, Keep that in mind, uh, and uh, where's the TA tracker? Right here, uh, right over here. So let me just open a sound that I already have. So this is a already already set up uh, set up sound, and I can play it. And here it is being played. Of course, you can always uh, where's the options. File. Oh, here it is. Then export for Desmond file over here. So let me create a new file. So make sure you have like some instrument, so you can give it a name. Uh, I don't even know. You can. Uh, you can change all the values that we need more or less uh, change the volume change the frequency so you want to more of a sine wave ish and here you can create the uh, distortion and, and you can click and uh, you can choose whatever you feel it's a uh, uh, it's best for you so then i can go over here on track here you have PAL and I can and here is just on the left side from to the right side just click to the right and uh, of course you can skip to give us some uh, and then you get some annoying noises you can click this to go up and down so this is pretty much how you have and I also have the, this percussion over here the exact same thing uh, let's increase our length I don't even know what, uh, something like this just clicking stuff I don't even know so let's it's uh, one one and you can add those as well so over here and changing all of your um, sound effects of course you can import some so uh, no, uh, no, let me just come over here import there's already some already imported like electric guitar and the same thing for percussions there's already some values you can import so like snare 
And of course, if you open, we'll discard this, all of this, there's already some you can export over here. You can export it and import it later into your files. So that's a, oh yeah, make sure you, make sure you have a different TV standard. Uh, you can change the author, song name, comment, and then you can always export that file into your game. So that's the TIA tracker. So I want to quit. Yes. Uh, I don't need the menu anymore. So I went through the battery basic, the slogan tracker, TIA, and the last one. We're back at Alien Bill. And uh, let's go to your 2600 programming. And here he has some Atari music guys as well. See all of this information. Uh, here it is another uh, value table that you can use. And here you see how it's different starts are the same. So 0 and 11 are the same. 4 and 5 pure sounds. 6 and 10 is the same. So there's only 15 values. And here is some more information. But we want to go to this web tune 2006 and that's another uh, web editor that we have then you can click whatever over here let's say like this and then calculate the values and then it's going to give us the values for our uh, for our distortion for control and for our uh, frequency and this is equivalent to what the notes are and so forth and then you can set up your own volume so that's pretty much all the major sound editors, audio editors, and music that we have for the Atari 2600. So uh, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I'm uh, just showing you guys this editors that we have. And the next video is probably going to be uh, the last video that I'm going to cover for the Atari programming. That is the... We're gonna uh, bank switching. I'm gonna go over that concept, and then I, I'm gonna start a video how we're gonna make a game from start to finish. But that's in, in uh, next one. Oh well, the one after that. But in the next video, we're gonna go over bank switching, and uh, that's it for this video. So, thanks for watching, and see you guys.